Welcome to Gardaia and Beni Isguen, two charming cities located in the Mazab Valley, a region of southern Algeria with a population of about 100,000 people. In this video, we will take you on a fascinating journey through the winding streets, the colorful markets, and striking architecture of these unique places. Before we begin, let us make a brief introduction of the Mazab Valley, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Mazab Valley comprises a group of five fortified villages situated in the Sahara Desert, approximately 600 kilometers to the south of Algiers. These communities, El Atayouf, Bounoura, Malika, Gardaya, and Beni Isguen, which were established over a period spanning from 1012 to 1350, have successfully maintained their singular way of life and culture for numerous centuries. The towns were developed with particular attention given to the social and cultural contexts of their inhabitants, as well as the necessity to adjust to the inhospitable conditions of the desert. Each settlement is enclosed by walls and contains a mosque that serves a dual purpose as a fortress should the need arise. The residences are arranged in concentric rings encircling the mosque and have been designed to conserve familial privacy and independence. The village's architecture, built using indigenous materials, epitomizes the concept of vernacular architecture and has had a significant impact on contemporary architecture and urban planning. The Mazab Valley is home to a fascinating community of people, the Mozabites, who have developed their own unique culture and way of life over the centuries. So sit back, relax, and get ready for the real experience as we take you on a journey that begins now. Our trip commenced at the Huari Boumediene International Airport in Algiers, where we boarded an ATR-72 for a one-and-a-half-hour flight to Gardaia. When arriving in Gardaia, be ready for an unusual procedure. After organizing a taxi to take us to the hotel, we had to coordinate with the police as part of the standard security protocol. This is because the police provide escorts to newly arrived tourists from the airport to their hotels. However, we were pleasantly surprised by the polite and friendly behavior of the officers. Throughout our stay, we took several taxi rides from the hotel to different cities without any interference or issues from the police so there's no need to worry. Another surprise upon our arrival was a welcoming song sung by two young Algerians. After some delay, we finally arrived at the hotel. We had little time to spare, so we quickly dropped off our bags and headed to Gardaia without any further delay. Upon our arrival in Gardaia, and due to our limited time and the delay we experienced, we were unable to hire a guide to explore the city. While we understand that some people may prefer to explore at their own pace, we highly recommend hiring a guide in these cities. Not only do they provide valuable information and knowledge, but they are also the only ones with access to the tops of the minarets, where you can enjoy stunning views. It was a lesson we learned and didn't repeat when we visited Beni Izguen, where we hired a guide to show us around the city. As we walked through the streets of Gardaia, we were struck by the unique architecture of the Mazab region. The houses, built along narrow winding alleys, were almost identical in their design. It was a deliberate plan to create a sense of community without class distinctions and to respect family privacy. This gave the town a distinctive and irresistible charm. But there were other fascinating features of Gardaia that we couldn't help but notice. For example, the small size of the windows. At first, it seemed strange, but we soon learned that this was a social rule in the Mazab region. It helped to keep the sun from heating up the houses, and it allowed women to observe what was happening in the street without being seen from outside. As we wandered the streets, we encountered women dressed in traditional Mazab clothing. They would avoid eye contact, sometimes even turning their heads away or shrinking further into their clothing to avoid our gaze. We learned that this was another social rule and that the women were trying to avoid any impropriety. Occasionally, our guide in Beni Isquen would give a signal to the women, indicating that it was safe for them to walk past us. As Westerners, we might have viewed these customs as oppressive or restrictive, but our travels have taught us not to judge other cultures based on our own values and beliefs. Instead, we felt a sense of admiration for the unique way of life and the way the people of Gardaia have preserved their traditions and culture for generations. Our visit to Gardaia ended with a stroll through the market, 
culminating in a relaxing moment sitting at the souk, observing the vibrant and colorful hustle and bustle of people passing by. The market is a true sensory delight, with lively stalls offering a wide variety of goods, including spices, textiles, ceramics, and food. The air is filled with the exotic scents of spices and perfumes, and the lively sounds of bargaining and haggling echo throughout the narrow alleys. It's easy to lose yourself in the maze of winding streets, each revealing new treasures to discover. On the other hand, the Souk of Gardaia is a lively and bustling center of activity, where both locals and tourists come together to enjoy the vibrant atmosphere. The plaza is surrounded by an array of shops and restaurants, offering traditional handicrafts and delicious local cuisine. It's the perfect place to relax and people watch, soaking in the sights and sounds of this vibrant city. Gardaia's central plaza is truly a marvel of design and a testament to the rich cultural heritage of the Mazab region. Overall, our time in Gardaia was a wonderful and eye-opening experience. It's a place that we will always remember and cherish. After a restful night at our hotel and a short stroll around the area, we prepared for our visit to Beni Isquen, as we were set to catch a flight back to Constantine later that evening. By the way, we invite you to watch the video we made about Constantine, and we'll also include the link in the description, along with links to our other two videos about Algeria. The community of Beni Isquen consists mostly of shopkeepers and those who tend to the agricultural needs of the city. With a total population of approximately 6,800 residents, they live strictly according to the Islamic religion and form a crucial part of the heritage of Algeria. This time, and on time, we went to the local guide association to find a guide to accompany us on the visit. It's mandatory to have a guide. We waited a bit for the guide to arrive and then set out to explore. The architecture and urban organization of Beni Isquen are similar to those of Gardaia, we walked through alleyways, visited mosques, and went to the highest point in Beni Isquen to enjoy the surrounding view. Beni Isquen is famous for its afternoon market. Every day from Sunday to Thursday, a unique auction takes place in one of the village's squares, and seeing it was my main objective. When we finally arrived at the market, the warm light of sunset was already illuminating the facades of the square. There was an organized hustle and bustle, with men in the middle of the square auctioning off various products, from dates to used shoes, and even a kitchen oven that seemed to be getting numerous bids. I watched the auction with fascination until the guide signaled for us to continue. I didn't want to leave just yet, but we had to. A visit to Beni Izguen will definitely be a unique and unmatched experience. Their tolerance for visitors has opened a window of opportunity for their lifestyle to be viewed that would otherwise remain hidden behind the great walls of the city. The day was getting late, and it was time to return to the hotel to pick up our backpacks and head to the Gardaia airport, once again escorted by the local police, who met us at the hotel with extreme punctuality. And with that, our unforgettable experience comes to an end. We hope you've enjoyed following along with us on this journey. As we come to the end of our journey, we would like to humbly request for your support. If you found this video enjoyable, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. By doing so, you'll be the first to know about our upcoming travel experiences and will be supporting us in creating more inspiring content for you to enjoy. We are deeply grateful for your presence on this journey. Your encouragement and excitement have meant everything to us. We hope that our experiences have ignited your own wanderlust and adventurous spirit, and that you'll continue to discover the incredible beauty that this world has to offer. Until next time, safe travels and happy exploring.